right y'all we're here we're gonna check out bren versus tnc so yeah let's get into it man so much work that i feel like tnc yeah. has to do to win those like skirmishes exactly. and team fights early on right especially around the objectives here which so. thing he might go for clint or bruno then yeah if that if that's the case for ap bren there it bruno. is there's Good a call. bruno yeah Pretty chunky front line, you know what, you throw as much of that back line damage as you can. Lilia does look good for AP Bren right yeah. now. That's true. Whew. What's a marksman open though for TNC? They only have Clint, maybe Ixia. But there's a lot of dive for AP Bren, so maybe you don't want to go that route. Yeah, Ooh. think about it, I mean, any of the marksman, traditional oh. like marksman picks would be tough to deal with against a Bakshi and the Matilda. They, they, they can go mm. Harith plus um, somewhere Tigreal perhaps. So you have front line. The thing with Harit is it allows for a joy to be online because that's your late game already. And you look for a gold laner that's not dependent on farm. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you are going to lose that battle. So Clint or Harith for TNC. And then uh, maybe a Tigreal to, to finish it off. The only downside I can think of be because of that is they might lack range because joy is melee. Yeah. And there you go. Wow. There's the range that we're talking about here yeah. aside from the Novaria. Was Grok a, a good choice? I mean, Grok if you were... Bro? Speaking about the Tigreal, but they go Grok instead, yeah. picking up the Cl Clint as well. So how is this? I, I think I, I definitely like it just because you have a lot of wave clear in the middle. Imagine it's Novaria plus the power nature. Yeah. Boom. That, that lane is just, you know, it's going to be sped up and then you rotate. You're talking about rotational speed of Bren. Yeah. That's the answer. And there's the Valentina as well. Okay. Interesting. Good strategy. Good uh, Valentina being picked up, I think, works good in this situation because... You actually have a couple options in terms of ultimates that you could take from TNC and utilize, and that's kind of what we're expecting here. A great wild charge setup as well from AP Bren could really help turn some of the tides of these early skirmishes. So real quick, we get a last look at the lineup here. Rock Hardy, who are you feeling more? I'm feeling really good about this AP Bren. Three here for week number one. TNC still looking to get on the board, of course, and they could start with this if they can take down AP Bren. Yeah, you know what? I would love to know what the audience thinks right now. I'm going to go through the YouTubes and the Facebooks. I want to know who you think came out on top. Press 1 on the comments if you think TNZ has a good chance here with Nomad on the Grok, and press 2 if you think the world champs probably going to close this out. Okay. Oh. Looking at... Oh, good pressure here already, though, right? Mm. Nomad, though. He might get bullied down quite though. a bit. This is... Yeah, this is tough, right? Uh, unfortunately for him, he's going to go down, and Kyle Teasy is going to be on that hunt. It's going to oh, take a little bit longer. Oh, boy. First blood there. Kyle Teasy didn't even think twice about taking that fight. And giving an additional boost of XP and gold here is going to be huge for the AP brand go yeah. well, jungler. And the thing is, they weren't able to get a punish for it. Like, they didn't. Followed a textbook format, right? And they kind of worked around that. So. Let's jump back into the game here. Once again, they got things situated. It is first blood drawn by AP Bren. We got Turtle coming up here in less than 30 seconds. Some level fours coming across the board so far as well. So we'll see how they rotate around that, that first big objective. Yeah, and because of that kill, obviously Ryzen is going to have to really work hard to make sure he is not underleveled against uh, the opposite uh, ex uh, jungler, which is Kyle Teasy. Obviously, one level, you know, level four between level five the retribution damage is quite noticeable. Yeah. So, something to really think about here. But then again, if you are uh, you? a joy, you're not that concerned about uh, the, f the first few turtles of the game. You're actually concerned about scaling, so. Get that item, you right. Gotta get that item, gotta get that big dam, as uh, Mr. Narsa would say. Oh, well, they're gonna be fighting for this right now as they break out. Yeah, it seems to be. Oh. Turtle is gonna be missed out on the retribution Step here. Nomad is the one who takes it up. And there's going to be a huge kills for that though. Mar a missile here. Huge, huge movement for here for AP Bren. Ooh. They're locking in heads in a very bad position. Forces Nomad with the flicker as well. Ryzen trying to see if he can oh, get some kills on the back of that. Yes, but it's a big no from the world champs. Okay, what's up? So they got the objective. TNC did that. But AP yeah. Bren got another kill here. How's that look though in terms of like worth it? Hatred yeah. trying to keep a few from going back, but how's that Oops. look? Wolf? Well, the fact that they didn't lose as much, like Ryzen didn't die, or it was only heads that died in that game, I think that's kind of worth it for TNC because that's extra levels and farm for their jungler. And heads actually utilized the Daytona's welcome just to make sure that Cal will not be in the picture. 
when it comes to those red tree battles. But maybe this is the the play now for TNC. That was actually pretty big, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> right? Nomad maximizing the damage from the early game power of nature, basically as basically as powerful almost as a retribution. Yeah. <laughs> in depending on the amount of HP the Lord has. A tur turtle rather. Yeah, I like that they uh, at least got something out of that exchange. You know, that was yeah. the main thing. Not letting that lead or that kind of confidence, the momentum from AP Brand to continue to build up, at least in this case, you know, you're keeping things relatively even in terms of economy, and that's the best thing yeah. you can do right now. TNC has Pretty a lot close. of scaling potential here as well. You know, that's one of the great things. Anytime you have a Novaria, you can kind of rely on that, right? Let's build up, let's scale up. We have vision we can work with. You know, you can also just kind of fire off from the distance. Oh, I think Ryzen, yeah, he's going to be fine. Pretty aggressive drive-by here being done by Kyle TZ. And like you mentioned, Ryzen just trying to avoid the fights. He's going exactly what Wolf says. Avoiding these fights, just making sure he doesn't die and trying to get that gold. But right now, Kyle TZ, since he already did use the Poussins, is Wait, known by TNC. They know that maybe they can try to leverage something here. Okay, everybody just kind of focused up on this side of the map. Turtle going to be worked on by Kyle TZ, Yasuo, and Nomad. Keeping their eyes here. They're going to go for it. Yeah, going straight at it. Retribution being activated by Ryzen. He gets it. No fights yet available for this joy, but that's exactly how TNC wants it. Good job coming out from TNC, identifying a good opening, and keep this despite CC coming out from flat TZ, just try to zone that's, that's out Ryzen job. as well as to kind of force that retribution out of the purple. Ryzen kept his cool and actually managed to get the retribution up, and this time they did not lose any of their heroes. R really, uh, great identification coming out from TNC. They look really nice good right now. Man. Man. Yeah, again, if they can continue to get the objectives for TNC, I feel like at this at this current part of the game, it's the best you can do, right? Just get these turtles, farm up as best you can, especially for Yasuo here on this Clint pick. He just needs some time to build up, right? Nomad, though, will All get right. whittled down a little bit. Oh, he can't really ignore the damage coming in from a Matilda, but at the same time, you know what? Ryzen, very close by. They know they can kind of just overstep a little bit, just try to get as much resources and maybe eke an advantage for AP Bren. TNC has been doing that over and over again here, slowly yeah. but surely. Okay. Bottom lane, heads keeping them together for now. But look at this aggression from AP Bren on this side of the map. Not sure yeah. if they still want to continue. They're playing around the mobility that they have. And that's, anytime you have a Matilda especially, that's what you're going to expect from these sorts of teams, right? playing around that kind of the option that they have to get out of oh, situation. Wow. Huge missile expert there being used by Heads forces to purify out of Super Marco. This is so interesting, right? What we're seeing here with AP Brent trying to start these fights, but TNC just not obliging them. Yeah. And the thing about TNC is that is their win condition. Uh, when you're playing this uh, Joy, you really have to look for the late game. And they, they picked up the clip. The good thing for, for Yasuo so far is not being pressured. So he will still be able to output the damage. And we've seen in day one that Clint has great late game, actually. True. Weak in the mid game, yeah. great in the early game, but late game, Sashley can scale. Uh -oh. Yeah, one combo is going to do some pretty nasty stuff. Forces Flicker out of the Nomad again. This time and it's going to be Kyle TZ one. coming out on top. Ooh. But look at this. Here comes Flap TZ with the additional damage that AP Bren needed to clean up that fight. So they had an answer this time. Apia Bren was like, you know what, Ryzen, you're not going to continue to do that. They catch him out as well on top of securing that turtle. So AP Bren making quite a big play there. How's this playing into the items right now, Wolf, as yeah. we get into that seven and a half minute mark? Well, th there is already the War Axe coming out from uh, Mr. Flap TZ. So you saw the damage output that he was able to take out Ryzen. Even Obviously, Ryzen was low anyways, but he can now threaten for kills. Pretty nasty stuff right now, but look at that. Nomad's Man. actually taking a lot of that nasty damage coming in from Super Marco, who have, we haven't actually seen much in these fights. So well. maybe this time around, he'll be able to show what these balls are made of. Well, right now they're on fire. He also well, they are just, on fire. Yeah, <laughs> he just also picked up, I believe, was the Berserker's Fury just recently. So this is the point that I'm talking about. We're a minute away from this Lord. AP Bren, you can already see the pressure they're putting on this side of the map of TNC. Yeah. They will try to get a pick off if they can. 
leading into that first Lord here, of course. And right now, for the most part, I mean, they have control of this pace, of what they want to do around the map. TNC getting further behind here. Yes, it's only 2K. It's not anything crazy, but they still can't let that kind of just slide out of the hands here. You know, and that's been the case for TNC for a lot of times. So something has to happen for them here as they try to set up. Yeah, they're trying they to make that happen away. right now with the Daytona as well, because obviously Head's going to be left all alone here for the meantime. But look at this, AB Brand, no fear whatsoever. Dives wow. straight up onto the Head's. And Nomad of TNC. Nice uh, barrier there. Slow him down, but one, nope, maybe? you can't really stop him. Okay. So mobile, this AP Brand lineup is right now. Rising on the back, seeing if he can pick up some stragglers here, and he chooses Flap. Damage is not quite there yet. I said it, guys. There's the Lord coming up. They got their pick off that they wanted, and they're going to go right for the objective here. So TNC knows this as well. I like the fact that they're going to try to at least get some vision here. But they have to be careful. Few holding on to the wild charge himself. And this looks like it could just be a lord to them. Yeah, this is such an easy zone here right now for AP Brand. Ooh. With even Nomad not even lasting that long to the yo-yos. Oh man, this is just way too much damage right now being built up by the bees. You see what, what they're trying to do here for AP Brand. The siege is great. It's like a, I don't know, maybe uh, the visualization here is a uh, phalanx, you know? Yeah. Uh, you, what, what was that spell, called? Spell phalanx. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> but yeah, you know, um, that traditional war tactic where you build up your shields, then yeah. when somebody gets in, you let him through inside your formation. And AP Breast formations like that, that's what they did up top when during their siege, and that's what they did around the Lord area where they let Ryzen in. And AP Bren, the moment Ryzen showed himself, they just destroyed him. With yeah them all go in all together. Yeah, basically like a fly trap, right? Luring in your target, luring in your prey, and then making them wish they did actually go in. Yeah, that's what I love about this lineup oh, right now, as they continue to assault the base of TNC, getting some of these shields down. It looks like they're also gonna get this top inhibitor turret down as they do. AP Brand still making some work here. Ryzen trying to keep that wave Ryzen, from pushing uh -oh. in. Gotta He's gonna be able to out. Oh. Oh. oh, that was a beautiful oh. Guardian barrier he here. And so far, so good here. Rise is going to go down at oh, least for AP one. Brand. TNC, oh, they're really struggling right here oh. to just survive to the DPS of AP Brand. Rocking up on 7.7k oh, right oh, now. Oh, I don't think Ryzen felt good about that Guardian's barrier. That right? was so good. That was so good. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be knocking no med later for sure after after his, but you know. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm kidding, but <laughs> that did not fare well for him. It's, uh, it's tough, again. All of this in the last couple minutes. An 8k gold lead now, AP Bren. Look at the damage on Nomad. Yeah, they can't take this much damage, man, at all. Looking very difficult now, because even Head's already committed the flicker play. Ooh. They don't have the damage, and even Ryzen is not scaled up yet. Man, Ryzen evaporated there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, this is oh gonna my be a goodness. tough one. They're gonna and push he, it in. There you go, possible GG push here. It's a 4v5. And the beautiful engage being started off here by Ogwen and cleaned up very well by the ball. Marco. Super Marco. And now the damage is just unbearable here for AP Bren. Clearing it up, waiting for the hits to come in to the base. And clean it up for game number one. Nice. AP Bren coming crazy. out dominating in game one here. I think it was a. Yeah, that was a really good game. That was a really good game, man. Uh, I mean, the TNC, they played it really, really well, but, <laughs> like, Bren caught on to what they was doing and then just came out of nowhere and brought that back crazy. So, yeah, that was a really good game, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And, yeah, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.